First step before I go pick up my fish is I need pond water. I got this big container strapped to the tractor. I'll use a uh, five gallon bucket to fill this one up with pond water. I got a counterweight back there to spade because it's going to be heavy. Uh, nothing is easy back here. at all without a road absolutely nothing so uh, I'm winging it like this and I'll bring it back this way I'm gonna have to set that bucket on my pickup truck and gently slide it on when it's full of water we'll see slide it gently in the pickup truck and you drive an hour to pick up the fish and if the road was already done you just back up the truck to the pond and you wouldn't have to do all this Mickey Mouse stuff. Now here's the trucks rolling in. He's taking names, getting set up for everyone to pick up their fish. Very nice. Here's our tanks here, loaded with fish. Well, they, they, they all the went down to the bottom. What you got in the net there? Bass. These are largemouth bass. Little bass. All right. And time to stock the pond. See the grass they've got back there. All right. Just counting out someone's bass right there. Cute little things. All right, and they're bagging them up. Well, them are a grass carp? Yes, sir. Very nice. We're getting catfish in this one. Oh, yeah, got Eight to 11 inch. Alright, catfish on. And there's a red ear. And now I need 10 pounds of shiner and fat heads. There's the shiners right there for my bass sanctuary. Alright, loaded back up off the pickup. I really gotta hustle these. Fat heads are running out of air. I think they lost some water, so heading back out to the pond. Just let them out a few different spots along the shoreline. All right, just let the bait fish out. I'm stocking 18 catfish and 10 pounds of fat heads and uh, silver, not alewife, shiners and a handful of red ears because I don't know what's in here for sure. I know there's bass in here because I've caught one and he's told me there's bass in here and an old timer told me there used to be gigantic catfish in here but I just don't know it's been fished pretty hard the guy that owned it was an absentee landowner he told me he let all the neighbors fish so I don't know if they clean this thing out or if they did catch and release but we're south and people that have asked on our other property to come fish or who used to fish it would keep everything they kept and ate it so 
that's why I'm putting 10 pounds of bait fish in here. I already know there's bass. I'm sure I'll catch a few bass from our other pond and put them in here also this spring. And the catfish, because I just don't know if there's any live catfish. So I'm putting a handful in so that I know there will be some. There you go, shiners. I think that's what they are. The whole goal is to get these bait fish to reproduce there you go and keep having food for the bass growing big ponds are just like deer hunting man you gotta take the time and grow them big keep them fed call the fish if there's too many so maybe this summer You'll see me catching the biggest bass of my life out here, who knows. All right, that's it for the fish stocking adventure. All right, here come the catfish. These are six to 11 inches. There you go, grow, grow big and be strong.